Hey guys, what is going on? Abby here again, three days in a row. I cannot believe it, but this DLC has so much going on that I wanted to show you guys a unique weapon. It's an Easter egg that you can get in the Guns, Love, and Tentacles DLC. So all you have to do is go to the lodge. You're going to see this little dude right here. This guy is the Mancubite. He walks around in the lodge, which is the main hub for the DLC. And all you have to do is go up to this guy and pet him. You can see I am getting, you can see my progress on the left-hand side for the He Likes You challenge. We're getting progress on that. That goes up to 50, I believe. We should see it pop here. But randomly, Mancubite will spit out either guns or ammo, as you can see. And you're going to want to get that challenge complete, but even after I completed it, I did not get the gun. What you have to do is keep petting him until he spits out the gun. So we're going to fast forward here a little bit. And then there you go. He finally spits out the gun, the kaleidoscope. I can fly twice as high. Take a look is the red text, which is a nod to the reading rainbow. If you guys remember, it was an old show with Lamar Burton all about books. All right, so now that we got the gun, let's take a look at the item card. So we've got it right here. You can see the, we've got a really cool, awesome skin on here. It's got a lot of different colors going on and stickers and stuff like that. It reminds me of Lisa Frank stickers kind of. I don't know if any of you guys remember that from back in the day, but it's called the Kaleidoscope. And we can see on the damage card here, we've got 1566 is at level 57. And it seems like it's a static roll. I haven't gotten any of these anointed, so I'm not sure if you can. If you could, that would be amazing. But it's got 83 accuracy, 82% handling, reload time is 2.2, fire rate is 6.41, and magazine size of 18. And then we do get a bonus to critical hit damage, and we get our different zooms based on our firing mode. And we do get firing modes because this is a doll pistol so it switches between fully automatic and four shot bursts and there's actually different effects based on what firing mode you choose so i'm going to show you guys that right now what the special effect does let's go down to the target dummy all right so now that we're down to the target dummy i want you guys to see that on burst fire or fully auto when you're shooting any enemy and you're not aiming down sights you're going to always get kinetic damage you can see those are all white numbers there however when you aim down sights through the kaleidoscope you're going to actually get elemental damage so one of the shots from the burst is gonna be elemental and you'll see that pop up there every time you aim down sights it actually changes the element that you're shooting with and if you want to stay with the same element throughout the magazine for burst fire, all you need to do is stay aim down sights. But you can actually switch the element up just by getting out of aim down sights and then aiming down sights to get a new element. When you're in full auto mode, however, when you're aiming down sights, the entire magazine is going to be one element. And then when you reload, it'll be a different element. So now that you guys have seen the special effect of this weapon, we're actually going to take it out into the borderlands and see how it performs just in general. Now it doesn't have an anoint, so I am not doing any additional damage with that. I did put my gamma burst out though, so that my pet will taunt stuff and I can focus on just shooting things. It does fairly good damage, honestly. I was kind of surprised. The only time I was not doing enough damage is when the element wasn't matching. So if I was doing fire against shields or something like that, or corrosive damage against these guys because they're just shield and health. Because of the fire rate, you definitely run through the magazine pretty quickly. And I believe I have magazine size on as well. I also don't have an artifact on whatsoever in this clip, so keep that in mind too. If you had the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge or you had some sort of bonuses, pistol bonuses going on with your artifact, this would boost the damage even more. I think it's just a cool, unique weapon. If you could get it anointed, it could be really good, but it's another one to add to your collection. Maybe put it on your wall or something. Maybe play around with it. If you're looking for level 57 weapons, to help you through the DLC, but I don't think it'll be a staple in my loadout. I just thought it was a pretty cool Easter egg and I haven't seen anybody talking about it yet, so I wanted to put it out there so you guys could go get it yourself from the Mancubite in the Lodge.
All right, guys, that's it for this quick video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Borderlands 3 videos. I've definitely been pumping out the videos lately because I'm enjoying this DLC a lot and I want to impart all the knowledge onto you guys. And don't worry, build videos are coming soon as soon as I get geared up and I can show off the latest and greatest level 57 Flack and Moe's builds. I also stream on twitch.tv slash aviara Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Friday, Saturday at 8 p.m. We are having an amazing time over there. Are you under mind control now? You're listening to everything I say? <laughs> Going through the DLC, playing takedown with friends for the co-op event, all that good stuff. So if you want to check me out on there, that's when I'm live. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.